Hey, it's Rob with Gold Standard here. Copilot in Excel helps you do more with your data. Starting with an Excel table, Copilot can highlight interesting data points for you, suggest new columns with formulas based on your questions, and generate insights to explore your data. Copilot in Excel can be accessed through the desktop or the web, and the only prerequisite in order for all this to work is that your Excel table needs to be saved to the cloud. That means in Microsoft Word, SharePoint, or OneDrive, You'll know if your file is being saved to the cloud simply if this Copilot button is highlighted or not. If it's not highlighted, you are not saving to the cloud. The first thing that you wanna do is highlight your table range like I'm doing so here, and that's including the headers. And what you're doing is telling Copilot essentially what to analyze. Some of you might know that some people have spreadsheets that are never ending vertically or horizontally in some cases. And because of that reason, if Copilot's trying to analyze all that data from the get-go, it probably will crash the program. At least that's my practical guess on why it's asking you to select the table. Now click Copilot. Then you'll want to click Get Started. I recommend this for your first experience. It puts your first experience on Rails so you can understand what exactly Copilot can do for you. Then you'll see the four suggested prompts that Copilot is suggesting that you can use on your Excel table. Let's dive into the first one, add formula columns. This is really cool. So what this will do for you is you no longer have to memorize formulas uh, to get to an outcome that you want to get to. So for example, Copilot suggesting that you could combine a couple columns or you could compare a couple columns and make a new one based on this data that it's looking at. So let's try one out as an example. We'll add a column that combines campaign name and campaign type. Now we'll see the name of the campaign and the type. I mean, not very complicated, but this is just an example of things that could be automatically done for you. Whereas you might've looked it up, how, what exactly what this formula was before, you might've done some troubleshooting to really make it work. Guess what? Copilot can just add it right in there for you once you've arrived there. Let's try that same exact example, but using our own prompt. So some of you might have noticed, I have an Excel open that looks really familiar to what maybe a marketing manager be looking at about campaigns, uh, the users that were targeted, the budget for these campaigns versus how many of those actually they got to. So in my fake world where I'm a marketing manager, I want to know what is the acquisition cost to get to these users. That information can help me when crafting new campaigns. You get the idea. So here's my prompt. Add a column that calculates a customer acquisition cost. We'll click send. Copilot's gonna come up with a suggested formula based on my prompt. So again, I don't have to memorize formulas. I could describe them and Copilot understands the human meaning and context behind those. So here's the suggestion and it nailed it. It's a very simple mathematical equation. You're just dividing the budget by engaged users but it understood that is an example. So you could instantly add that column here and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Our next Copilot feature is called Analyze. To access it, you're just gonna click Copilot again and then click Get Started and Analyze. So what Analyze can do for you is that you can describe what you wanna see to Copilot and it could do its best to generate that for you, whether that's through a line graph or a chart, or sometimes it will just answer the question. It's gonna to try to do that right here in the chat. So if you're not sure how to use this, um, just try the on Rails experience at first, like using the suggested prompts, but here's a super easy way to use it. So if you just type in show data insights, this is after you click analyze and click send, it's gonna come up with one, at least one show, or sorry, so we come up with at least one data insight. Here we go, we have a total users targeted versus engaged uh, dot graph here. I have the option to add that as another sheet. So I can do that here. Excellent, and then go back to the table. Now, you know what's really neat is that you can ask Copilot to generate all of the insights that it sees from this data and automatically add it into your workbook here. And that actually shows up right after um, my last prompt, which is add all insights to grid. And if you look at that, it's generating all of the insights. It's added to another sheet. I could review these, but this is just an example of 
Maybe you got this Excel sheet in a pinch and you need to understand it. Have Copilot work with you. Um, generate some insights, get the juices flowing. It might not be the most conclusive um, observations of that report. And man, it just saves you a ton of time pivoting, formatting, creating graphs, etc. The last feature in Copilot I want to demonstrate is called Highlight. So click Copilot and then click Get Started like you normally would, and then click Highlight. What this feature allows you to do is you can describe what you want highlighted in your data. Think formatting, filtering, and sorting all rolled into one package. For example, as a fake marketing manager myself, I'm very concerned with customer acquisition costs. I want to know in a pinch which one of my campaigns are costing the most to acquire new customers. So this is the prompt that I would use. There we go, Copilot highlighted the cells that I requested it to highlight. And I'm gonna continue with some more prompts, but if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.